Hello and welcome back to the Massimo Peluso channel. So this video has actually been recommended by a viewer, so thank you to them. And also, um, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. Uh, I have touched on it on a video two years ago, but didn't speak much about it and actually what to include. Okay, so writing a personal statement is so long. That's like one word to say it. It's so long, it's just so tedious, it's just, it's like, why do I even need to do it? That, that's what I thought when I was doing it. So, my first tip. Just start it. Okay, I know it sounds annoying to hear, but just start it. Write down everything about yourself. Achievements. So, I achieved first place. Um, qualifications. I achieved this grade at secondary school at GCC. I achieved this grade at BTEC. Um, volunteering. Yeah, so just write down, just jot down everything so that you know that you haven't missed anything out. All the main ones. Not... I was involved in a bake sale in year four. No, don't include random irrelevant stuff like that. Pretty much keep it relevant to like the last, the last five to 10, five to eight years I would say, uh, because anything else before that is kind of irrelevant and you probably don't remember it and you're too young. So keep it like, yeah, like the last five years I would say. In my personal statement, I only included um, achievements and qualifications from year 10. So that gives you an idea of what to include. I included my work experience, so include that. Um, because even though it may not be relevant to your course, because I did my work experience at a primary school, because I was kind of interested in teaching back then. Not so much now, but it's, it, it can change. But um, yeah, um, include that because that just shows that you can be reliable, you know, trustworthy, all of the above, transferable skills. So even though it may not be relevant, do include that. And also volunteering is good to include. I volunteered at another primary school as well, so I, I made sure I included that um, because it, it looks good that you went out of your way, you've helped the community. Um, also, another tip of mine is include a book. Yeah, be sure to include a book. Um, I feel like some people just just jump on the bandwagon of using websites. Oh, I, I've read a lot of blogs, a lot of websites. Use books as well because books um, show that if it's a physical book that you've actually gone out and you've purchased that book or you've borrowed that book and that you're interested about the subject. It shows commitment to it. So yeah, I, I included the book in my personal statement and it was about like social injustice or something on the lines. And I just kind of gave them a brief intro to what it was and um, why it interested me and why it's relevant. Um, and obviously like how it can link to my course. Like, oh, it allowed me to, you know, etc. Um, be sure to include extracurricular activities, but keep it, you know, like narrow. Don't include tons. Be sure to include extracurricular. I included that I did gymnastics, I did trampolining, I, I attended dance school. So it shows that you're not just academic. It shows that you have other interests, that you are good with people and that you're an interesting person uh, because it's not all about academic sides it's about extracurricular it's about physical um you know outside of school things as well yeah so i dedicated i dedicated about a paragraph to a whole book kind of i think my personal statement was about six paragraphs seven paragraphs but they're quite kind of small but you know it got to the point so one of my paragraphs was about a book the intro was just like you know, you have to grab the, the reader's attention, you have to grab the university's attention with your first sentence. So yeah, I just said why psychology and sociology interested me, why I love it so much, um, and I think I mentioned the study. So that was quite good. So that was my, and then the conclusion, um, I just rounded it off saying like, oh, you have to just big yourself up really. Like, oh, I'm great because whatever, I work in a clothing store, I include work as well work is very good to include they like that yeah mention things like transferable skills don't mention the word passion okay because that word gets overused so much don't use the word passion i didn't use it once it took me you know a few days a few weeks to actually get into it um but yeah write down your notes write down everything and then you can kind of start to say for example oh i did this sport okay so you have the sport listed and then now you're going to add notes how it's relevant. So it's just like that. It's just starting it. Starting it. Don't rush yourself. Um, take your time. Mark it. Mark it. Mark it. Let your friends read it. Let your family. Let your teachers. Um, I did about seven drafts. Okay. So don't expect to just 
write it and then it's done. Because that's what I thought. Oh, like my first one's quite good, it's quite solid. Like I feel like it'd be good. And the teacher was like, yeah, it's good, although, and then like a page of notes. So, and then you can kind of see it's quite nice. The last, like, for, for me, the last five, six, seven drafts, the uh, improvements drop down, drop down, drop down. And then the last one, it was just like a few, like, change of words. So it was quite nice uh, when you get there in the end and then you, you submit it and then you wait for the uh, universities to send you offers. Someone in the past has been in the exact same situation as you. I have. So I know what it's like. I know it's stressful. Just my, my biggest, biggest tip, um, is keep it relevant to your course. That's all I can say. Don't go on a tangent, because in mine, um, I obviously mentioned my A-levels. Um, I briefly spoke, like literally briefly, I think it was one sentence, I mentioned BTEC business and A-level geography. Not relevant to my course. Just stuck it in there, I was like, and also my A-level geography with blah, blah, blah. So keep it really relevant to your course. Include news articles, include books, a book. Yeah, talking about why your A-level or your BTEC course has helped you and why it's driven you to this course. Just like really, follow, whatever you say, follow it up with why you're good, a good candidate. Um, so for example, I mentioned that I mentored um, a student at my sixth form, uh, the lower years with autism. And then obviously that you, we learn about autism on my course. So. That's a good way as well. Try and think of, try and research, really do your research into like modules you learn at your on your course. Um, don't try to use like bigger words that you wouldn't normally use. You can change a few words, yes, but if you don't talk like that, if you don't write like that, it does stick out. Um, just be convincing, be truthful, um, and you'll be absolutely fine. I hope this video has been useful guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, Massimo G. Peluso. Uh, follow me on my Facebook page, Massimo Peluso YouTube. And I'll see you in my next video.